हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सी फेर आर लाइफ आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल टूडे वी विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ एम ई टी नवम्बर ओनली न्यूमेरिकल पार्ट इन दिस वी हैव ओनली फोर क्वेश्चन लेट सी वन बाई वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वेरी बिग क्वेश्चन बट सॉल्यूशन इज वेरी इजी A coil of resistance 10 ohm and inductance 0.1 Henry is connected in series with a capacitor of capacitance 150 microfarad across a 200 volt 50 hertz supply. We have to calculate the inductive reactance, capacitive reactance, circuit impedance, circuit current, circuit power factor, voltage drop across the coil, the voltage drop across the capacitor. We have to only put the formula. First of all, we will write the given. What is given in the question? R L C V F and we have to find xc xl xc zi cos phi voltage drop across coil voltage drop across capacitor so solution is very easy we have to just remember the formula and we have to put the value everything is given here xl is equal to 2 pi fl we will put the formula and we will get xl is equal to 31.4 ohm similarly we know xc is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc Again, we will put the formula uh, value of C, F, and pi. Our answer will be twenty one point two ohm. Now we have to find the impedance. Resultant reactance. First, we will find it will be subtracting our X L minus X C. So resultant reactance is equal to thirty one decimal four minus twenty one decimal two. It will be ten point two ohm. Now we know that impedance is equal to Under root of R square plus X square. By putting the value of R and X, we will get Z is equal to 14.28 ohm. <laughs> Now, current. Current is simply V by Z. V is given 200 volt. Z is 14.28. So current is 14 ampere. Again, power factor. Power factor is denoted by cos phi, which is the ratio of resistance and impedance resistance is given 10 ohm impedance we have already calculated which is 14 decimal 2 f so cos phi is equal to 0 decimal 7 now impedance of coil is equal to under root of r square plus xl square so it will be 33 ohm okay now we have to find the voltage drop across coil so voltage drop is equal to I into coil impedance. I is already we have 14 ampere. Coil impedance is 33. So answer is 462 volt. Now voltage drop across capacitor. Ampere uh, ampere is given. Current is given. That is 14. And uh, our XC is 21.2. So answer is 297 volt. Very easy one. Moving to the question number two. In the following circuit, E1 is equal to 13 volt, E2 is equal to 19.5 volt, R1 is equal to 5 ohm, R2 is equal to 7 ohm, R3 is equal to 9 ohm. Find the current flowing through each resistor. So, this is the diagram. Okay, here E1 is given, uh, here E1 is given, E2 is given, R1 is given, R2, R3. This is given, and we have to find the I1, I2, and I3. Here we have to apply simply Kirchhoff current law. Okay, Kirchhoff voltage law. Sorry, Kirchhoff voltage law. So when we will apply Kirchhoff voltage law to loop one, this is your loop one. From loop one, we can get E one minus R one into I one minus R two into I two is equal to zero. Now we will put the value of E one, R one, and R two. We will get this equation. This is our equation number one. Okay. Now again, we will apply Kirchhoff law to loop two. From loop two, we can write E two minus I three R three minus I two R two is equal to zero. Now after putting value of I uh, R three and R two, equation will be this. This is your equation number two. Okay. Now we have three variable, but we have only two equation. So now taking point, taking this point, point B. Okay, at point B, 
applying Kirchhoff current law. So I1 minus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. That is I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. This is our fourth equation or you can say third equation. Now by using equation 1, 2, 3 and 4 we can get the value of I1, I2 and I3. After solving these all four equations, we will get I1 is equal to 0.5 ampere, I2 is equal to 1.5 ampere, I3 is equal to 1 ampere and it will be our answer. Now next question is number 3. A 24 volt emergency battery is to be charged from the 110 volt SIP main when the EMF per cell has fallen to a minimum value of 1.8 volt. The battery consists of 12 cell in series has a capacity of 100 ampere hour at a 10 hour rate and the internal resistance is 0, 0.0 ohm per cell. If charging continues until the voltage per cell rises to 2.2 volt, find the value of the variable resistor needed to control the charging. The charging current can be assumed to be equal to the maximum allowable discharge current okay so here what was uh, what is given in the question is q is equal to 100 ampere hour this is given and time is given for full charge okay time is 10 hour so we have one simple formula i is equal to q divided by t so i is equal to 10 ampere now at the start of charging i have drawn one diagram here this is your battery which we are going to charge so the emf of battery will be 1.8 into 12 volt because 12 cell and each is having 1.8 okay i have shown here uh, internal resistance which is 12 into 0 0.03 ohm each cell having internal resistance 0 0.03 and all 12 cell are connected in series so resistance will be 12 into 0 0.03 ohm current is 10 ampere okay and this is variable register uh, register connected and we have to find the value of r okay this is the v means means which are uh, 110 volt which we are supplying to charge our emergency battery okay now v gains is equal to v drop okay v gain will be 110 minus 1.8 into 12 okay and v drop is equal to drop across register and drop across internal uh, resistance so putting the value of r capital r and a small r we will get this and after solving this r is equal to 8.48 ohm okay r is equal to 8.48 ohm now from here we have get r is equal to 8.48 ohm now at the end of charging when battery is full so how much will be our emf it will be 2.2 into 12 okay internal resistance will be same ampere will be same again here we have to find r v means will be same 110 volt again v gains is equal to v drop v gain is equal to 110 minus our emf of battery now emf will be calculated as 2.2 into 12 ir plus i into a small r putting value of capital r and a small r we will get r is equal to 8 ohm so from above these two calculation we can say that variable register should have range 8.48 to 8 ohm and it will be our answer now moving to the last question A wooden ring having a mean diameter of 200 mm and a cross sectional area of 400 mm square is wound uniformly with a coil of 300 tons. If the current passed through the coil is 5 ampere, calculate the value of flux produced in the coil. So, first of all, we will write what is given. Okay, given is D is equal to 200 mm, that is, we can write 0 0.2 meter area is equal to 400 mm square in meter square 400 into 10 to the power minus 6 
n is equal to number of turns that is 300 i is equal to 5 ampere and we have to find total flux first of all we will calculate mmf of the coil okay it will be current into number of turn so it is 1500 ampere turn now we have given diameter so from diameter we will get circumference circumference is equal to pi into d so circumference is 0 decimal 628 meter now magnetizing force h is equal to ampere turn divided by circumference so from here we can write h is equal to 2380 ampere turn per okay now flux density we have formula b is equal to your permittivity into h magnetizing force so value of uh, mu is 4 into pi into 10 to the power minus 7 into 2380 so flux density is equal to 0 0.03 tesla okay now total flux phi is equal to flux density into area okay so flux density is 0 0.03 into area is already given in question 400 into 10 to the power minus 6 so phi total flux will be 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 6 weber okay guys thank you for watching share and subscribe for more keep supporting